Oh, Anne's her middle name. It said Anne. Honestly, Elizabeth Edwards. But it said my name is Edwards. In this house, Mary moved to Springfield to live with her older sister, Elizabeth. Abraham Lincoln, the 16th President of the United States of America. Lincoln was born February 12, 1809 in LaRue County, Kentucky. Now his family lived there until he was seven and they moved in 1816 to Indiana. From 1816 to 1830, Abraham and his family would live here in Spencer County, Indiana. This is the actual Lincoln home in Indiana that you can visit today. Now, Abraham Lincoln would move across Illinois several times before finally settling in Springfield, Illinois in 1837, where he lived until 1861. This was Lincoln's home until 1861. Then he left for the White House to become our 16th President of the United States. After his term was up, this also would have been the home he returned to, but unfortunately he was assassinated on April 14, 1865 by John Wilkes Booth at Ford's Theater in Washington, D.C. This is the actual chair from Ford's Theater with Lincoln's bloodstain. Abraham Lincoln will be pronounced dead April 15, 1865 at the age of 56. Lincoln was one of the most idolized presidents in U.S. history. From the Emancipation Proclamation, January 1st, 1863, to the Gettysburg Address on November 19, 1863, I think it's safe to say that Abraham Lincoln was one of the greatest presidents in U.S. history. But now we go and visit him where he and his family spent time together, and even possibly speak to the spirit of Abraham Thank you. Second floor, that upper level, that was not there when they bought the home. This was still a cottage. It was called a one and a half story house, which means one main level with an attic loft. And they only, they apparently all shared the one bedroom. So the house looked a lot more like that one on the corner behind you, if you need a visual reference. But that was fine at first. The family was small when they moved in. Door frames? Well, you can use the railings here. Well, here we are officially inside the house. I do think this is the best room to start. This is where the Lincolns welcomed all their visitors. So it's the first room you would have seen if you came to see them. Uh, all parties, social events uh, took place in this uh, formal parlor. The Lincolns wanted it to look as nice as possible. So they filled it with their nicest items. And to keep the room in good condition, if they were not using it that day, they would have had these doors closed and locked. layout from before they added the second floor. You notice there's two fireplaces here. Well, this used to be two separate rooms divided right here with a wall. Back here used to be the bedroom that the whole family would share, which makes it a very significant room. It is where three Lincoln boys were born. So their sons, Eddie, Willie, and Tad, all born in this room. Sadly, it's also the room where their son, Eddie, passed away. They lost him to tuberculosis, what they call consumption, when he was only three. It happened in 1850 here, and his funeral was actually held right here in the front parlor. So there's a lot of personal significance to this room, good and bad. Uh, one other major event that takes place here, 10 years after that, in late May of 1860, Abraham Lincoln was met in this room by about 12 men from Chicago, and they had come here to officially give him the news. He had been selected to represent his party and run in the presidential election of 1860. So...
call it. To them, this was the sitting room. It's actually where you find Mrs. Lincoln. Yes, doing a lot of sitting, but she was also working here. Mary would be over on the right hand side. Under that big mirror is the sewing table. That mirror and table are both original as well. So Mary would make and mend all the clothing for her boys by hand. sleeping, well, Mary can go back there and look after them, help them get to bed, which then would give Abraham time to work. So this would become his mini office at night. From that little desk there in the corner, uh, he would work late into the evening. And if you might uh, notice, the desk is a little cozy and small. Also, very likely, he would have at least drafted his inaugural address there before leaving for the White House. A very important piece of history. Neighbors would say they saw candle light in these upstairs corner windows, sometimes until 2 or 3 a.m. So he's working late right there. This is the desk. This is the original desk that he sat at. This is the original desk that Abraham Lincoln sat at. It's so cool. in storage room they called the trunk room for their trunk suitcases all full of the clothing they didn't need for the season. But there are also two extra bedrooms here in the hallway. The one closer to me is called the boys room. This was originally Robert's room. The firstborn got his only his own space while his brothers were sharing mom's room. But in the year 1859 things changed around. Robert moved out. He went to college so he left for uh, the east for Massachusetts. As soon as he was gone his brothers did what any siblings would. They took that room the same day. So what'd you guys think of that tour? I know I didn't get a lot. I was trying to do two different things at once. But yeah, this is Abraham Lincoln's home. He would have returned here if he wasn't assassinated at Ford's Theater in Washington, DC. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed that. I've got a lot more. There's a lot more here. Um, but again, I was granted permission to ghost hunt here tonight. Uh, do the outside at least. And then, uh, I think if they like the video, I got to get permission again, but I can do the inside of the house. So that would be super cool. Um, this is the outhouse where they would have took some dookies. <laughs> but yeah, that's all right. But yeah, isn't that super cool? We're here literally walking where Abraham Lincoln, uh, walked his family walked uh, Mary Todd walked all of them walked this land right here it's just so cool
vlog. We are here at Abraham Lincoln's tomb. This is where he's laid to rest. It is in that big building. Um, this was a caretaker's house. I found that out last time, but yeah, this is Lincoln's tomb and we are going to go inside. So there is a, a rumor or something. I forgot the whole story. I'm gonna try to put it in here. But if you rub Lincoln's nose, it's like good luck or something. So we're gonna go rub Lincoln's nose. There is Lincoln's nose. I'm a bit short, so I can barely reach it, but hey, we here. <laughs> I'm a real boy. <laughs> but yeah. Here is Lincoln's tomb. We are about to go in. That's pretty cool that uh, they just let people come and do that and see him. So, but I got one more cool spot to show you. So, okay, caretaker. This was Lincoln's tomb custodians residence so whoever took care of lincoln's tomb actually lived right here so shortly after accepting the ownership of lincoln tomb the state of illinois constructed this building built in 1895 and enlarged it a few, a few years later it served more than 75 years now i have heard it is haunted by a caretaker or two but uh i don't think anybody's really been in it except if you work here so there is that one more thing I want to show you. I got to figure out how to get to it. I found it. I did arrive because there's a bunch of construction. Usually you can take steps down here, but I did find it. And uh, this was the original spot where Abraham Lincoln was buried. But due to grave robbers and uh, I think flooding, I'm not sure on that one. But I know grave robbers was a huge problem back then. So they ended up moving him where uh, up, up there. So where you see him now. But this was the original vault for Abraham Lincoln and where he was buried. As you can see, it's empty now. It sits empty. I'm not sure what all that was up there, but it looks like maybe lights. Yeah, I mean, this has been abandoned for a long, long time. 
I don't remember exactly when they moved. Oh, right here. So this vault held the remains of Abraham Lincoln from May 4th, 1865 to December of 1865. So May to December. Okay. It's so peaceful out here. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Uh, like I said, we do have a ghost hunt tonight at Abraham Lincoln's house. So I hope you stick around and uh, are just enjoying a piece of history. This is one of my favorite presidents. Look at this, military guard at public vault. So, over the following months, visitors in the thousands came to pay their respects. A New Yorker found that the stone, uh, stone doors of the I don't know what that is, were open and the century permitted people into the small parties to approach the iron gra uh, grating and view the call from within. It was draped in black and uh, fe stone, festone, festone, with garlands of flowers and evergreen shrubs. Sadness pressed heavily upon me at the scene. So. And now he's buried up there. But I'm super excited to see if we could speak with him tonight, possibly. You know, you never know if you don't try, right? I'm pretty sure uh, Mary Todd has been told, or been told, I've seen she may haunt the, haunt the house still. As there is a lot of things in that home that she actually put into that home that are original. I hope you enjoyed that as well. Um, like the kitchen was originally hers. Uh, the big stove was originally hers. She actually wanted to move it to the White House to show it off, but it was like six, it's like six, seven hundred pounds. So I'm just so excited to get to do this tonight. All right, guys, we are heading to the museum. Ghosts, don't know about ghosts. Uh -huh. But we are heading to the museum. Um, it's supposed to be like a really cool interactive museum of Abraham Lincoln's life. So I'm pretty excited about that. All right, first glance, it's a pretty cool play. Oh my lord. Oh, super neat. This coolness. Look at this. Abraham Lincoln is a boy. At his log cabin, I think that was in Kentucky or Indiana. Check. Okay. Okay, Kentucky. Right there. All right, cool, cool. Filling moves to the one log cabin in Indiana. Enter the cabin. This is, but we're gonna continue going. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh wow! This is oh wow! <sighs> Time America. That was very sad. He's a tall man. This is so cool. So, we're sitting in the house. Miss Mary Todd and Abe. They did a really good job of replicating this. 
super cool. October of 1840. So that's where we're gonna be tonight. Okay, right here. I'll have to find that one. Okay. This is the tomb, or the headstone, I'm sorry, of Edward Eddie Baker Lincoln. Wrote, Lincoln wrote his stepbrothers, John Johnson, in February 1850, with the sad news that the three-year-old Eddie had died of tuberculosis. Oh, that's his son who died in the house. May he rest in peace. When Eddie's remains were removed to the Lincoln tomb in 1865, his 1850 stone was flipped for reuse as a family plot marker by Mary's in-laws, the Edwards. It was rediscovered in Oak Ridge Cemetery in 1854. Wow. Wow. A few surviving letters between Mary and Abe Lincoln. Captures him deeply missing his family. So that's him writing to Mary. Piece of Lincoln's home. <laughs> Willie on vacation. Although Willie Lincoln's time in Washington ended tragically, his first year, there was a full joy in broadening his horizons. Huh. Mary, Mary's big sister. Okay. I didn't know she had a big sister. Stepped in and filled the role. Later, Mary followed her sister Springfield, marrying Abe Lincoln and Elizabeth Arler. Wow. So I think this is Abe, who the kids in here. So he gave them a lot of freedom. They were known to be a little wild, according to his law partner. Coming to our office, take down books, empty buckets. Cool. So they were just kids being kids. On to the White House. Okay. All right. Yo, this is so cool, man. Like, crazy cool. We are in the White House, ladies and gents. Look at this. We're in the White House. Look at Mary Lincoln. Look at Mary Lincoln. First presidential couple born outside the original 13 states. This is so cool. What the heck, man? It's like the coolest thing. <laughs> this is so neat. Adele Douglas was a grandniece of Lady Dolly Madison, second wife and chief rival to Abraham Lincoln. Mary McClellan, uh, Harriet Lane, and Kate Chase was a daughter of Abraham Lincoln's treasure secretary, Salmon Chase. Wow. What do you guys think of this? This is super cool. It's like so lifelike, you know? So neat. And the war begins. Wow. 
try to stand back so you guys can see the whole thing, but like there's just it's massive. I'm not exactly sure what's going on in here, but it's kind of craziness. We got sideways doors, awkward doors. This is different. It's like a crazy. Oh my goodness. Look at that huge bust. Wow. Lincoln is a vampire sucking the blood and life of America. Ah. There is that movie, Lincoln as a vampire. Oh, wow. Hmm. Okay, so after reading the plaque a little bit more, this is when his son Willie passed away uh, during uh, a ballroom uh, a current or a ballroom uh, event, and his son Willie was passing away at this time. So in his hand is Lincoln Clutch's Jack, the doll. That was Willie's favorite toy. It's just a super sad scene. Nobody should ever have to bury their kid. But he was, uh, I think it was tuberculosis that he passed from. Or was it typhoid? I can't remember, I'm sorry. Uh, typhoid fever, okay. So he passed away from typhoid fever. It's very, it's very, um... Very sad. Basically, after Willie died, like it was just death upon death upon death. Uh, from Mary Todd Lincoln and she did become like she had a lot of problems in her head um, which I mean when you have death upon death coming um, it's kind of hard to deal with that three weeks elapsed before Mary left her bed to don deepest black morning guard in a desperate effort to contact her dead child she attended several seances I mean, I've never lost a kid, and I really had never hoped to, so. It's just sad. This is a, re a representation of what uh, Abraham Lincoln did during a new two meeting, and just kind of laying his draft with the Emancipation. Emancipation Proclamation, sorry. Emancipation Proclamation was set out during a routine meeting just like this. Um, so this is all his staff. It kind of just goes through. Um, and this is kind of what it would have looked like in the White House during this uh, meeting. And he just kind of sprung it on them. They weren't even prepared for it. But he already had his mind made up during this meeting. This is what he was going to do. All right, this room is like wigging me out. This room is wigging me out, guys. This room is wigging me out. It's like ghosts. This room is creepy. 
but it's like thoughts in your these are all the people that are talking to him about this once he sprung this up imagine all these people complaining to you emancipation proclamation this proclamation can end this abomination so that's what that is, like I just explained. This is all the thoughts, or these are all the people talking to him in those mirrors of, of, of representation of people just complaining to him as he was much heated and conflicting advice about how to handle slavery. But as we all know, he handled it the correct way. Depriving the South of its laborers weakens the rebellion. And what will become? Wow. They've just done such a good job. This is insane. Like, there's so many artifacts here. It's not even funny. I mean... It's just crazy. I, I, it's a little overwhelming. If you love history and, and you know, you like that stuff, this is... This gives you chills. All the stuff that he did... I mean, he, he did so much stuff and just... So cool, man. Ford's Theater. Wow, they have thought of everything. Oh my goodness, look at this. This is insane. This is so nutty. John Wilkes Booth rushing in behind and ultimately assassinating President Abraham Lincoln. Wow. They have thought of everything. This is I, I don't know, they've done a, this is crazy, fantastic job. I highly recommend this museum. When I said they think of everything, they thought of everything. Now we are entering LinkedIn's funeral service. This was the caboose. This was the train that carried his body April 21st to May 3rd, 1865. Wow. all the stops it had to take from Washington, D.C. all the way back to Springfield. Illinois where we stand today. This is crazy, man. So wild. Oh my goodness. Feels like you're really there. Wow. I don't even know what to say. I feel like I need to be quiet.
it. But this is the treasure gallery, so I don't know what's in here. But let's take a guess. Let's take a look. A, a relic of the Vicksburg siege. Look at this. I assume this is Mary Todd. No, this is not. It is. Okay. Mary. When is Mary Lincoln not Mary Lincoln? Mary Lincoln was the most photographed president of, of his time and has probably been depicted by artists more than any other American. But Mary has her own share of artistic interpretations too. So she painted this. This painting, however, probably has the most twisted story. Long purported to be a portrait of Mary by framed artist Francis Bicknell Carpenter. It was sold to her descendants in the late 1920s. They donated it to the collection in 1976, where conversations discovered it is not a portrait of Mary at all, but of a completely different woman that had been painted over the, to appear like Mary, presumably to swindle her family, the painting before you appears in the original state. Wow. Okay. <laughs> okay. Abraham Lincoln's autograph right there. Hey, I got to meet the Lincolns. Hello. 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 Hello there. Alright, now it looks awkward. So what did you all think about uh, that museum? It was so interactive. It was so... Uh, I don't know, it's just so cool. It felt lifelike. Um, I can't wait for the ghost hunt here in a few hours. I'm gonna wait until it gets kind of dark and then we're gonna head on over and uh, see what we can find out. I'm going to get ice cream right now, I'm a fatty. Leave me alone, don't judge me. What's up guys, today is a special special ghost hunt i am here at the lincoln home abraham lincoln our 16th president who was assassinated at fort's theater uh by john wilkes booth but this house was built in 1839 for the lincoln's mary todd and abraham lincoln himself um the the amount of history this house holds and the amount of original items, even, even right up here, there is a desk. And people would say that they have seen the light on uh, for to like 2 or 3 a.m. when they lived in the neighborhood because that's, he was writing all the time. Um, now, even some of these other homes are supposedly haunted, but I do want to focus on Abraham Lincoln's home tonight. So I'm hoping... He comes through but I did read that um, Mary Todd supposedly still haunts this home and um, she, I mean she had a lot go on a lot of death in her life at a quick time between her son Willie and then Abe and I think there was another death or two in there so um, she dealt with a lot before her passing but she is supposedly haunts this house I mean, she made this house. There's a lot of things with her touch in this house. All right, so we are just gonna jump right into this thing. Um, I'm gonna let them know that I'm not here to harm them, hurt them, or anything else. Abe, I'm not here to do any of that. Mary, I'm not here to do any of that. Uh, we have set a mag light out. Our PRS, Spirit Talker. I'll put the Spirit Box on here in a minute. Um, so there is a tour we're going through. 
So when they do come, I'm gonna have to cut this video really fast. Um, let them do their thing. But with that, let's go ahead and get started. So is any of the Lincolns, if they can hear my voice, can they come through and talk to me? No, go away. That already said no, go away. Okay, is this Mary? Hi Mary, if this is you. Can you come, can you come mess with my flashlight? If you're out here, Mary. My name is Zach. If anybody from the Lincoln family is out here tonight, can you come turn off my flashlight? What does it say? Black Death? Yo, that's crazy because she's known, if you saw from earlier in the museum, she's known to be seen in a black dress uh, in this house, actually. So that's kind of wicked. Mary, is that you? Can you see me, Mary? My name is Edward. Okay. Mary Todd, if you hear me, can you turn off my turn on my flashlight? Or Abe Lincoln himself? If you can hear me, or Willie, or any of the other Lincolns, can you come turn on my flashlight if you still roam here? Yo. Okay, when I say your name, leave it on. Leave on the flashlight, please. Can you turn it back on, please? Whoever you are, can you turn it back on? Okay, thank you. So, when I say your name, can you turn off the flashlight? Is this Mary? That was fast. Mary, do you not want me here? So there is people walking around. This is public um, until 11 o'clock. We're here. Yo. It just said we're here. Okay. Can you just come turn on my flashlight? Let me know you're here. Thank you. Dude, I came on immediately. All right. All right, thank you. Can you come touch this device right here? Like that. You're next. Oh, shit. Said you're next. This house is actually, it looks big, but oh, flashlight came on. He said we're not nasty. Okay. All right. So, uh, oh, the lights just came on. So, uh, if you are camera shy, this is not the thing for you because I'm camera shy and I'm doing this in front of people. So, okay. We're going to go ahead and turn the S box on. If you don't know what this is, it is scans through radio frequencies, as you can see. I put it in reverse and hopefully we can get something, right? That's kind of what you hear. Is Abe Lincoln here? Or Mary? Can somebody come out here and talk to me for a little bit? Great. Whoa. I don't mean to scare you. Is this Willie? Ask about it. Ask about what? Uh, Willie. Willie. Did I just say Willie? Did I say ask about Willie? Is Willie out here? I understand he used to play in the house. Rough house. Oh, the light came right on. 
Did she just say Where Edward? Dude, I think she just said Edward. There's an Edward on that. I'm gonna go check that out because that said earlier, my name is Edward, right? Frequent. Oh, you did frequently play in the house. That's right. If this is Willie, can you turn my flashlight on? Willie Lincoln? Can you turn that flashlight on, man? Did it say I'm doing the devil work? Okay. Well, that's not what this is. This is simply just to talk to you. My name is Jack. I'm going to go check that here in a minute and see if that says Edward. Can you tell me something about the house? American? Right, come on. Ann? There's so much more. Do you, under, do you understand? Do you know who killed you? Do you know who killed you, Abe? So as you can see, there is a Harris with him on the day of his death. Is that just coincidence? Or was he trying to tell me something else? Now on the other hand, he and Benjamin Harrison, our 23rd president of the United States, were really good friends. So what are you thinking with all of this? Is it mere coincidence? Did somebody else have anything to do with Abraham Lincoln's death? Or we just pulling things out of nowhere. I, I don't know. I'm going to let you all decide. Cry. I really feel like it may be Mary. Don't ask me. Don't ask me? I, I want to see if this actually says Edward. Oh, Anne's her middle name. It said Anne. And Anne is her middle name. Anne? Yo, no way. That is insane. She might have said Elizabeth Edwards. But it said my name is Edwards. In this house, Mary moved to Springfield to live with her older sister, Elizabeth, in this house. Are you kidding? That just gave me chills. That just gave me chills. Are you freaking kidding me? So her sister came through and Mary came through. Are you kidding me? Yo, that's nutty. Yo. So, look, 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 look. My name is Edward, which was her, was, was her last name, and then her middle name was Anne. And then it just said haunted and cry. There was a lot of death in this house. That's nutty. Holy crap, dude. Is this, is this Mary's sister, Elizabeth? Yo, that is, that is freaking nutty. Are you kidding me? So who just turned on my flashlight? Elizabeth? Is that Elizabeth? The sister? Or Mary, was that you, Mary? Did you just turn on my flashlight? Okay. Hi, Mary. Yo, that's so nutty. I'm still amazed by that.
Okay. Mary, why do you stay here? Well, actually, I do know why you stay here. I mean, you built this house with a lot of your things, right? A lot of your love, time, and attention came went into this house. Over there. Over there? Where? Where do you want me to go? Mary? Are you the one playing with the flashlight? This is she is. What is saying? I was religious. I think she was. She also practiced other things to try to speak to her son. Um, she really wanted to connect with wisdom. So that's pretty crazy because she wanted to speak to her son and because of Abe's loss, like that's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. Mary, are you telling me you were religious? If so, can you turn on my flashlight, please? Optimism. Optimism. So some, like I said, some of these other houses are haunted as well. Um, but again, it's just cool to have this opportunity. I wouldn't be anywhere without you guys. I wouldn't have the the luck I have or the motivation to do any of this without you guys. So I appreciate you, and I, you know, I can't say that enough. The f what's that? Okay. What did it say? Run away. Dude, it said run away as that boom was going on. Can you come show yourself at the door? Or knock on it? I know nobody's in the house. Said we're going to just walk around with the spirit box for now. Um, Maybe somebody else will come through. Who knows? Let's go. Is any... Oh, they have a basement? I didn't even know they had a basement. Abe. Abraham Lincoln. I want to specifically talk to you, sir. Can you come through and talk to me? I really hope that was a squirrel. This is something about getting inside. Mary Todd, Willie. Talk to me a little bit. Tell me what you're seeing. A different experience? Can you see me from where you're at? Do I say yes? What color of shirt am I wearing? Can you tell me what color? Do you feel stuck here or is this where your home is? They say this is home. Like if I saw a shadow right now, I think that's Mary's room right there, honestly. There's nobody else out here. It's a little spooky. I ain't gonna sit here and lie about it. Oh, so I forgot to mention earlier.
Do y'all see that handrail? That is the original handrail that they used. That's original to the house. Abraham Lincoln's touched it, Mary Todd's touched it. The whole Lincoln family has touched that handrail. So that's pretty, you know, you gotta feel like their imprint's here, right? Their imprint is on this house. So maybe it would be residual. Maybe not. But you gotta think, this is the house she came back to, Mary Todd, uh, after all the death that, that was happening. So. So I think that's gonna wrap up here from. I'm Drake. Drake, I don't know. I think it's going to wrap up here from the Abraham Lincoln home here in Springfield, Illinois. What a day this has been. What a vlog this has been. I appreciate you staying till the end for the ghost hunt. I know it's kind of short, but unfortunately, I thought this was a little bit more. I'm going to be honest. Like, I thought I was going to at least get it somewhere around the house. But it is what it is. It's okay. I guess I'm going to have to fill out some paperwork and try to get inside the house. So, with all that being said, make sure we like, subscribe, and I will see you on the My next I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye everybody.